This tutorial is for intermediate level blenderers out there, but anyone can learn from it and have fun with it. Today we're going to learn how to make this abstract rubbery ribbon thing animation in Blender 2.8, mainly by using the cloth simulations built in the program. You can achieve a pretty decent amount of effects with this, so let's dive right into it. So let's go ahead and check like the overall scene. It's pretty basic, two lights, a plane, and a mesh duplicated. And it has a cloth modifier on it. So let's go to File and Add New. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously add a mesh. And it's going to be a cylinder mesh. We're going to let the vertices right now like they are. It's a cute number for, for the simulation. And the capsule type, it's going to be nothing. And we're going to just shade it smooth, go to the modifiers, and we're going to add a solidify modifier. So it adds a thickness, very important, check this offset, and just put one. It's going to be, if, if, we, if we let it at zero, it's going to add thickness on the both sides. So check it, it's going to add thickness on both sides. If we put it on one, it's going to add thickness to the outer side of the cylinder. And let's add 0 0.05. Right now, the, the rendering or the shading looks kind of crappy. So we're, we're going to go ahead and check the outer smooth. So it looks good. The next thing we're going to do is add a bevel modifier. And we're going to hit angle. So it only affects these angles here. The angles below 30 won't be affected. Add three segments and add just a little bit of offset. So it looks good. Okay, we're good. Next thing we're gonna add, subdivision surface. So it looks good. We're gonna just disable it on the viewport so it won't burn a computer when we're simulating the stuff. And go ahead and just check the render options. Go ahead on three subdivisions. We're going to add, obviously, a cloth simulation to this object. And if we hit play right now, it's just going to fall. So we have to make this plane a collisionary object right on the physics tab, collision, so it won't uh, go down. Right now, it's just standing there. If I hit play and move this up, you see it interacts with it. Okay, we're good the collision settings for the cylinder so we go ahead and check the settings the first thing i want to do is look the preset stuff planner has with it and for this tutorial silk preset works just fine we're going to go down to the collisions tab and check self collisions so it collisions with itself and we're practically gone. Let's go ahead and add some quality to this. And if we hit play, it's going to be a lot slower because it has to it has to calculate the collision uh, with itself. So let's go ahead and just do something that's going to make this simulation a lot faster. Go ahead to the modifier step, and you'll notice that the cloth is just below the solidify the bevel and the subdivision. So it's calculating all the cloth simulations after calculating the solidified, the bevel and the subdivision. So we're gonna go ahead and just move it up on the hierarchy. And now if we check all of them, you'll notice that the cloth simulation is being rendered out and simulated just on this single plane. So it's going to be a lot faster. So that's going to solve our problems of quick uh, simulations. Let's go ahead and add the bevel and the solidify. So I'm going to demonstrate this cloth interaction. So we go ahead and add a icosphere. Don't do it. Don't do this. Uh, it's just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I'll make a collisionary object. And if we hit play, and if we just move this uh, icosphere, you'll notice it will collide with the rubbery thing so that's exactly what we want but with a ton of this so let's go ahead and 
So you, the first thing you'll you'll think about it's okay. Well, just let me duplicate this object and move it right here, and let's make them collide. So if you want them to attack themselves, you'll want to do some things. One method is by keyframing the position, but a method I'm gonna use is like a full simulation method. So let's add a force field. And if we go hit here, it's going to be the force. So what does field do? So we go ahead and check the strength on 10. And if we hit play, you'll notice that both objects are being pushed by this force right now. But we don't want that. We actually want them to attract themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and check minus. With minus, it's going to do the opposite of pushing, so it's going to be attracting. And they're doing nothing. They're not colliding, they're nothing. They're just simulating all by themselves, and they're overlapping. So why is that happening? It's because cloth simulations on Blender won't interact with other cloth objects. So let's go ahead and add a collision object, uh, a collision uh, modifier, in order to fix it. And if we play, they will collide, but they will explode the simulation. And why is it happening? Well, basically it's because when we go ahead and, and check the collision settings on the collision object, you'll see that this object is being single-sided and this object is not single-sided, it has both sides. So let's go ahead and check this on both of them. And if we hit play right now, you'll notice that they are colliding good. But if we go here, the self collisions are not good. There's a little gap here between the, the collisions on the object itself. So let's go ahead and fix it. So in order to prove you that the self collision is being a little, it has a little bit gap uh, between the sides of the object, Let's go ahead and play the simulation. You'll see it dropped. So it, it has this little gap between the two surfaces. So let's go ahead and go to the cloth object. On self collisions, you'll notice that distance between phases is going to be 0 0.015. Let's go ahead and change this. Let's leave it on 0 0.0125. And that's good. So now it doesn't have to gap, and it seems like it's just standing on itself. So now we technically have our simulation good on this object. So we hit play, it's going to simulate and it's going to be good. As you can see, these, these objects, we can, when they collide with itself, you can see the subdivisions it had at the beginning, which was 32, if I remember good. So this is going to add like these snappy shapes around our object and we don't want it because our object is rubbery and our object is, is smooth. So that's why we added the subdivision modifier here. If you go ahead and check three on the viewport, you'll see it, it will fix a lot. But for the sake of this, I didn't want to add a lot of subdivisions at the start, at the beginning of this tutorial because it's going to take a lot to calculate. So if you want this to just uh, be better and don't show this uh, like snappy orders, go ahead and add more, more vertices at the start of the project uh, to the cylinder and it won't show this. But, but have in mind that it's going to take longer times to calculate the simulation. What we're going to do is just add a ton of these objects. And what I'm going to do is just shift D them. And they're going to be multiplied all around the, the plane. And they're all going to be attracted to the cell. So let's go ahead and hit play. Notice the performance on my computer is not good. So that's why I'm going to just catch it. I'm going to go ahead and catch the, the dynamics, they cool, and I'll see you in a minute. So now that it finished catching, 
uh, we hit play, you'll notice it's slow, but it's not too slow. So this is what it's going to look like on the final product. As you can see, it's very snappy. But if you remember, we have the subdivision set to render on three. Let's hit, go ahead and put four. If I change a setting on one of these, it won't affect the others. It only affects this single object. So make sure you have everything good on one object, like all the settings ready to go in order to you to duplicate the object and cache the simulation. Because if not, you're going to have to um, make single setting changes to each one of them. So let's go ahead and render this out. I want to render it right on this spot. Let's add a camera and let's go ahead and render it. As you can see, it's looking quite nice right now. The quality is not so good because as you remember, um, I added just 32 vertices to the to the cylinder. So it just looks, um, just yeah, it simulates like quick, but you can add more, more vertices. I think 64 is a good number for it. So yeah. So I think that's technically, you can go ahead and play around with these settings on the cloth. You can go ahead and check what these other settings like rubber, leather, denim, cotton, dust on your simulation. They all going to like throw similar, but not equal results. But yeah, I think that's it. So if you guys like this tutorial, please subscribe and like it. Uh, what can I say? Have fun with it and see you next time.